Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Conversations with Candace. I'm Candace and we're going to be conversing today. Yes, you read that title right. I got monetized in three days. It was a three day process from Monday to Thursday from the time that I got a thousand um, subscribers and I already had about 5,000 hours of watch time. I went on YouTube, I clicked uh, monetized, I was sent over to the Google AdSense page so I can set up my Google AdSense and then it sent a confirmation um, that I updated the information on that and then it said it would be like a month and baby let me tell you it was three days that I got a congratulations email and my videos were monetized. I don't know. I guess I guess someone has like lit a fire under like YouTube's butt or something because this process was taking like three, four, five, six months. I saw YouTube videos. People were saying that they waited months. They had to verify certain information and it was taking forever. Three days, y'all. Three days. So let's get into the process that led me here. So I started my YouTube channel in late October 2018, like October 26th or 28th. I don't know. Go down to my very first video and see the exact date, but it was late October. And now, almost a year later, not exactly, but almost a year later, I hit 1,000 subscribers. And I know that that is like, you know, pretty low, like compared to some other pages, but 1,000 was a big deal to me because Six months ago, I already had my watch time. I hit um, 4,000 hours of watch time probably about six months into my page. I noticed a few videos were getting a bunch of hits and I was getting a lot of followers, but not a whole lot, but I was getting lots and lots of hits. And a few of my videos hit like 30,000 views and it just kind of came out of nowhere after uploading videos weekly for about six months. So then I was just like, guys, you're already here. Subscribe. You're clearly watching my videos. Subscribe. Don't forget. And so I had to like do a few Facebook posts and Instagram posts. Hey, y'all. I know y'all like my stuff. I see you're watching. You're like on the page. Just click subscribe. Click subscribe. And they did. When I got to a thousand, I was ready to go. I was like, press it, press it, press it, press it, press it, press it. Ready to go. But the process, the whole YouTube process, I kind of had to make it like a second job. So here are 10 things that I can offer you to help grow your page, get you to a thousand subscribers, get you to 4,000 hours of watch time so you can get monetized too. Step number one, ask for help if you need help, but also be open to showing yourself how to do things. So initially when I started um, YouTube, I was using iMovie on my laptop, and I still am, but I needed to figure out how to use it. And I had mentioned to a friend who had used it, hey, you know, one day can you show me how to use it? And then we were just always so busy. So I stopped and I was like, you know what, Candace, you're going to teach yourself how to do it. And in 30 minutes, I watched a few videos online. I taught myself how to use it, taught myself how to edit videos, how to add text, how to change um, songs and sounds, and I did it myself. Also, I'm going to tell you, for every thumbnail that's on here, every like custom thumbnail that I do on my pages, I use Canva, C-A-N-V-A. It is absolutely free. It has to be certain like dimensions that you put on the YouTube thumb, uh, thumbnail. Type that in, YouTube thumbnail on Canva, and all these templates come up. There's literally no reason for you not to know how to work your own videos, how to edit your own videos. It's okay to ask for help, and you should if you don't know how, but always bet on yourself first. Number two, Utilize the features that YouTube gives you for free. If you go into your uh, creator studio, I believe, it will show you analytics, the type of people who watch your page, people who identify as men or women. For my page, 98% women. And so I know that the hair videos and the makeup videos are going to work for them. So I continue to do it. Also, um, on your page, on your videos, when you upload your videos, you can add cards. And those are the things at the top of the video that like 
like slide up it's like gray and black and you can like click it and see other videos on their on that page or on my page or on yours um, and so videos that might not be getting a whole lot of hits I put the cards to tell people to watch those videos on the videos that are getting hits the same thing goes with end screen the end screen kind of does the same thing but in the last few seconds of your video um, some things will pop up a little picture of yourself or whatever um, icon uh, you have on your page will pop up and people can click that and they can subscribe I hadn't been doing that until like the past month but they've watched your video all the way through click it subscribe also in screens can be customized per person who comes to see your page so uh, they will put videos like recommended uh, videos for people to watch you can choose the ones that they watch or let uh, YouTube choose it for you and so that can pop up at the end of every video so if they like that video they may want to go watch more number three this is probably one of the most important ones promoting yourself and doing calls to action so the two social media pages that I use are my Facebook and my Instagram I have an Instagram page dedicated to my uh, YouTube page it's also my personal page so I put those two together because I know that I wanted myself I wanted me to be my brand so conversations with Candace um, anytime I post something on YouTube I'm putting it on my Instagram I'm putting it on my Facebook I'm putting a link to the video in the description box on Facebook or I'm posting the video on Facebook to link it back to YouTube your calls to action are very important hey guys don't forget to you know go over to my page and watch this video I just I just made it is very important for you to tell people to watch your page most people want to but they don't think about it until you tell them the next tip that I have for you the thing that worked for me a lot is to uh, go on your uh, comments on every video anytime you get a comment and reply to the person who commented even if it's just a thank you or yeah you're right or no I hadn't thought about that Re uh, reply to every comment that comes to your videos at least until you get a larger platform and then it's just you know too hard because you have so so many people if you have fewer than a thousand subscribers you need to be talking to everybody who comes to your page so that they know that you appreciate them being there also go to other people's pages and comments on their pages and they'll say oh that looks like a page I might want to see and then they'll go over to your page too in addition to that one of the things I did was I searched the black youtubers hashtag on Instagram I sent messages to about 10 ladies who have pages like mine and I said hey girl I went over to your page you know I see you're you know you're trying to you know like grow your page too I'm trying to do that how about we go sub for sub and I know sub for sub is kind of weird because you don't want to beg people to follow you but if you are exactly like me you are black you are a woman you are young you are trying to grow your Instagram I mean grow your uh, YouTube um, why wouldn't we follow each other we can help each other grow and I got about five ladies to um, follow me that way and I um, also followed them and it worked out great my next suggestion would be in addition to checking um, analytics to see who's watching your videos check analytics to see when people are watching your videos you can see times of the year and days of the week when more people are watching certain videos so for me I had a huge spike in the spring and the summer for me I think that um, the whole self-help um, DIY craze might be um, at a higher like percentage of um, a higher rate of need in the spring because people are spring cleaning or in the summer because some people are off work or you know not in like class and they have you know more time to do things so for me spring and summer were those spikes for me and that's when I started seeing really good numbers and so I'm hoping that going into the winter um, and then back into uh, spring I can keep up those numbers but check those analytics often at least once per week and see how your numbers are going up and down the next thing you want to do is spread information in your video throughout your video if 
I can get all the information I need in the first 10 seconds of your video, I'm more than likely not going to watch the next 9 minutes and 50 seconds. If you're just going to ramble on and on, but give me the meat at the very beginning, I'm just going to watch the very beginning. So spread your information out so people will continue to watch throughout the entire video. You'll get your watch time. People will feel like, oh, wow, I got a lot out of that. And they will come back and watch more videos. Number seven, tags, titles, and descriptions. Every YouTube video that you post will offer you the opportunity to customize your title. You need to get to the point of what you want people to see because they will only see like two lines. If your title is super duper long, people are more than likely not going to care about it. Um, the description box is so important. People may scroll down there if you are baking something. They may look down there to see exactly how much of something to put in. If you said it in the video but you were going too fast, they might look down there. Or a link to something that you said that you use in the video and they can't find it online. That description box is very important. Also, you can put how people can contact you if they want to do like business with you. So that box is very important. Lastly, your tags. The tags underneath that are the things that you want your video to come up under if people were to search. So if I have a certain type of hair in my head, I'm going to put, you know, free tress hair, free tress go-go curl, braidless crochet, um, how to install crochet braids, how to take down crochet braids, anything that I think people um, who are looking for those things could benefit from my video if they found it, I'm going to put in there. There is a limit on tags, but it's quite a few. Utilize that space until it tells you that you can't put any more. But make sure your tags are relevant because you don't uh, want Google to flag it. If it has nothing to do with your video, don't put it in. Don't just put in Beyonce because you know everybody's searching Beyonce and you doing a video on shoes. Don't do that. Don't, don't, don't do that. Number eight is to uh, customize your channel so that when people come to your page, they see a certain video automatically playing and they also see your playlists. If you create a playlist of your videos, all of the things that have to do with one thing and people can just click play all and they can watch all of those videos with that one type of uh, subject matter, that will save them time and they are more likely to stay on your page. So for instance, most things on my page are about hair and about makeup. And I know that my demographic is mostly women, but I also want men to come to my page as well. So unless it's like somebody who's into me like that, they're not going to watch my videos. And even my friends who want to support me are less likely to watch videos that don't have anything to do with them. So I also do unboxing videos and I talk about equipment that I use for lighting and things of that nature. So all of those videos, all those unboxing videos that are not just makeup or hair, I put in one playlist. So I can say, hey, I got some videos that are not about hair and makeup, go ahead and watch it. And then they're more likely to watch all those videos because it's not just me putting on eyeshadow. Utilize the features, utilize the playlist features. You can also put videos that don't have as many views in one playlist and then people can click play all and watch them all. You can put all of your popular videos up there. So if you have a video that has 40,000 views and one that has 10,000 views and you want people to come to your page and be like, oh yeah, she popping. I'm going to watch these. They can click it and they can watch those. Number nine, I think every video says this. Every person that I've you know watched like tips and tricks to grow my page has said this, but it makes sense and it's true. Consistency matters and you need to tell people how often you're going to post your videos. So if you're going to post videos weekly, that means you're probably editing at least three or four times a week. Generally, if my video is 20 minutes long, maybe 15 minutes long, I did about an hour of recording, maybe 30 minutes if it's uh, something fast, but then I spent another hour um, or two editing. That means, you know, shortening things so people don't have to hear me ramble, adding titles and adding music and adding pictures. Consistency matters. And you need to treat this like a job 
until you actually start getting paid. You need to treat it like a job so that it can become your job. And so that might mean not going out with your friends one night because you need to edit a video because you said you're going to post weekly and the week is about to be up. It might mean that, you know, you have to charge your laptop overnight and not watch videos on it because in the morning you're going to have to edit something. So be consistent, record um, as much as you can, as much content that is like relevant to your page. And for me, I started to be able to have videos stacked up. So right now, today, I did a, um, a hair video, a makeup video, and I'm doing this video. So this video will go up probably tomorrow. And then I'll have the hair video and the makeup video to edit and post later this week or next week or whenever I need to post a video. So make the most of your time. Stay consistent. Lastly, make the info for your videos the same across every video. Not necessarily the description of the video, but the format in which you describe your videos. So the way I do this is I know that I'm going to have like a like welcome back to my page. Don't forget to like and subscribe every single time. I also want my contact info every single time. I want certain tags every single time. Um, and then I also want to be able to put links to old videos that are relevant to this video in the description box. So in the notes section of my laptop, I have a form that has all the information that I want every video to have. And then that way I can just change certain words in that form, but the format is gonna always be the same. Now, I haven't been doing this for long. I've only been doing this for the past two, two or three months, but it's made like the like process of uploading much faster for me. So while my video is uploading, I can go to my notes section, change a few words here and there. Maybe I use a different um, eyebrow pencil or a different type of hair, but I still want to link back to my last hair and makeup video or something of that nature. So I have that form. I can just change a, f a few words and then copy and paste. Also, there are certain tags that I always want um, to link back to me. So I'm going to always use those tags. I have those tags there as well. All right, guys, so that's all the information that I have right now. I will come back with more later as I start to get money from being monetized. But I want to encourage you to continue to uh, keep uh, uploading. Don't get tired, y'all. I've had a laptop stolen. Somebody broke into my house and stole my last laptop. I had to get another one. I was having issues with, like, disk space on my laptop. I had to figure out that. I had to get a backup hard drive like things were just going crazy for a while and it was like an uphill battle for a little bit but I finally got monetized so just keep going I will come back when I get my first check when I get a little coin and I will let y'all know how that whole thing went too so thank you for watching this video don't forget to like share and subscribe and until next time y'all have a good day